everyone, it's Laura from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you a what we eat in a week for dinners. I am just so thankful that I am finally feeling better. It lasted 16 weeks, which was the exact same as it was with my last pregnancy with William, and I can cook again. So that is a huge win. I can cook again, I can eat again, and so I am just going to take you through the week and just show you the meals that we ate for dinner. On the first night, we had a family favorite, which we call French fry salad. My daughter is helping me cook tonight. I am just cutting up the potatoes to make some homemade French fries, and she is shredding up some cheese to go on our salad. So we actually have a fry daddy, and I will make homemade fries with just potatoes, and I fry them in some coconut oil. They are so delicious on top of a salad. Kind of give that, that crunchy feel that a crouton gives, but using french fries instead. Caroline is making some homemade honey mustard. She has totally mastered this by herself. It is so delicious. I actually have a recipe for honey mustard on my blog and this french fry salad, so I'll link both of those down in the description box below. While Caroline is making the honey mustard, I was pan frying some chicken in my cast iron skillet to top our salad with. So here is the spread. Just using some organic mixed greens I got from Aldi. We topped this with avocado, fresh cheddar cheese, tomatoes, chicken, the homemade french fries, and honey mustard dressing. It is so delicious for a hot summer night. On the second night, we had shredded beef taco salad. I made a roast in my Instapot, and I love making meat in my Instapot that I want to shred apart really easily because it just falls apart. You'll notice in all these meals, I'm using a lot of my Instapot. We're making cool meals because it is really hot, and I'm trying not to use my oven as much as possible. So these are some really good ideas for summertime. I have some organic corn chips. I'm using some more of that organic salad mix from Aldi. And then we're gonna strap it with that shredded beef and just all of the taco salad toppings, tomatoes, avocado, salsa, cheese, and I also like to put some hot sauce on here. My kids love this. My husband says this is one of his favorite meals and he could eat it every single night. So I like to make this a lot during the summertime, again, because it's really cool and I don't have to use the oven for any baking.
On night three, we had roast beef sandwiches with the leftover roast beef that we had from the salad the night before. I baked a couple loaves of sourdough bread and so I just sliced that up and we added some roast beef to it and then I served this meal with sliced avocados and sauerkraut. On night four, we had some chipotle chicken salad. And again, I'm using my Instapot to cook a whole chicken in. Um, just like the pot roast, I like to make a chicken in the Instapot, especially when I'm making it for chicken salad because it just falls right off the bone, shreds really nicely. And I, Sometimes we'll put grapes and nuts in here. I'm just using what I have on hand, which was some onions and pickles. I also normally like to put celery and chicken salad, but again, I didn't have too many things in the refrigerator, and so I just used what I had, and everybody seemed to like it, so it went over well. So For the sauce, I am using some mustard and then I had some avocado mayonnaise. I usually make my own, but this time I had some in the refrigerator and I didn't have enough, so I added in some chipotle mayo, which really added a lot of really good flavor. I served this with a side salad, again using those organic greens from Aldi. Anytime I go, I buy several containers of these and just serve it every single night. I love to get greens in for everybody. And then of course, sauerkraut. This is kind of one of our go-to sides all year round. On the fifth night, we had a pot of beef stew. Now, I know that this is not a summery meal, but we had a chicken the night before, which means I had bones, and so I made bone broth, and this is the way that I use them. I'm just sauteing some beef stew meat in the Instapot. While that was sauteing, I diced up some potatoes and onions and carrots. I like to add in a can of diced tomatoes and stew, and then here I'm adding in my homemade bone broth. You can see it's gelled up because I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. I added in some garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and salt. And then I am cooking this on high pressure for 30 minutes.
On night six, we had a sourdough skillet. This is a so delicious. It's basically, you can make this so many different ways. I've actually made these before in my What We Eat In A Weeks, and you'll notice that every time I make them, I make them a little bit differently. So tonight I had some thawed beef in the refrigerator, so I am browning that, and I'm adding in some diced onions, and I'm adding in some shredded carrots. I love to shred vegetables and add them into things because it makes them less noticeable and then the kids don't even notice that there's extra vegetables in there. So I'm just gonna saute these vegetables with the ground beef. While this is cooking, I'm going to make the sourdough topping that will go on top of the skillet once all the meat is brown and vegetables are soft. In the sourdough topping, it's just a cup of a half of sourdough starter, three eggs, a teaspoon of salt, a couple teaspoons of dried herbs, three tablespoons of butter, and a couple teaspoons of baking powder. I will bake this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. After it's finished baking, I like to add some cheese on top. I don't even put it back in the oven, it just melts on there because it's so hot. And then we love serving this with sliced avocado and you guessed it, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut and avocados are my go-to sides for pretty much every meal. Goes with everything, it's nice and healthy, and it's so easy, and I always have them on hand. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're looking for some more healthy meal ideas, be sure to check out my 30 Days to Healthy Eating Cookbook. I have a link for it down in the description box below. It is a printable where I take you through 30 days of healthy eating. I share grocery lists, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and even snack recipes. So there's a link for that down below if you wanna grab yourself a copy of that. I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration for some meal ideas. I know it's always hard to think of new things to cook, and so I like to do these. I love watching them and getting new ideas, and so I hope this gave you guys some fresh new ideas. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every single week sharing different natural remedies and a lot of healthy recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by our Willie House.